Hello guys, it's Simon there. In this video, uh, as you probably all aware, the Electra released the latest jailbreak tool for the iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.3.1 or 11.4 beta 3. And I would like to share my favorite 11 jailbreak tweaks that I'm currently using on my iPhone X and I would like to share them with you so you can enjoy them as much as I do. Uh, so let me start with uh, the first jailbreak. It's called jailbreak tweak. It's called uh, Airify, and it basically, as you can see, just try to do it so it doesn't. So you can see it properly. When I when I turn the volume down or up, you can see I got a little nice bar on the top of the screen, and it looks really nice and decent comparing to the big uh, volume hood from the Apple. And it, it looks really nice. And when it goes to the maximum on the plus, it vibrates gently, so uh, it it let you let you know that the volume is on the maximum. So that that's uh, one of the first tweak. The other tweak it's called battery percent X, and I can as you can see, I've replaced my iPhone X battery uh, with the uh, percentage, and I also have the status bar line on the top. So as the battery decreases, that little blue bar decrease as well and you can set the color of the icons and the battery in the status bar and you can change the color of the actual line as well it looks really nice you know in the evening when it light, light up like that and uh it's quite interesting tweak to be honest with you so uh that's second my favorite tweak and probably most of you are aware that the iphone 10 doesn't support battery percentage comparing to the other iphone so it's really really helpful because before I had that installed, each time I want to check my battery percentage, I had to go to the actual um, widget page or I had to swipe my notification down or control center in order to see the battery percentage. Okay, let's go to the third tweak. The third tweak I really enjoy is the uh, Easy Switcher X and it's basically made for the iPhone X, as probably all of you know. When you bring the multitasking on the iPhone X, in order to close the apps, you had to hold on the first card, and the little red silk had come up in the top left corner, and then you were able to close them, which with other devices, you could just swipe them up straight away. And the Easy Switcher X allows you to do that. So as you can see, let me quit. I'm on the home screen now. Come up with the multitasking, and I can swipe them, close them straight away without having of... Uh, hold the first card for the red buttons to, to, to come up. So that's really helpful tweak as well. Uh, tweak number four will be Eclip, Eclipse X, which is basically the um, black color conversion. So as you can see, if I go to settings, my settings are all dark. It's, it's dark mode basically for the iPhone and you can enable and disable the apps. You can choose whatever you want to. To, to, to be blackout or you don't want it you can choose it all as you can see my messages they all black as well and there's many much many more settings to 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 to, to be tweaked and uh, configured so uh, another one eclipse x uh, my fifth favorite tweaks will be x keys i used to be an android user and as as most of you that ever use the Android device you probably know that when you when you use the keyboard on the top of the keyboard or the top of the letters you've got the uh, numbers from 1 to 0 which is very helpful when you type something and iPhone never never get into doing it so with the X key tweak you can actually add the numbers to your keyboard to your, to your keyboard the numbers row which is really helpful when you type something and i really recommend that so uh there you go that's it it's called x key another uh, interesting tweak will be as you can see probably my uh dock in there the icons are slightly smaller and uh the tweak is called floating dock. It's basically uh, similar to the iPad dock on the latest iOS 11. Um, the first four icons, they the icons I've choose. You can set more icons if you wish, but uh, four is enough for me. And all another icons, they are uh, recently used icons. Or also, if you go to settings, you can choose uh, recommended icons. So if I go to 
floating dock. As you can see, I've turned suggested apps and I've got recent apps, two of them. And there is quite a few settings for it and it, it works really well and uh, I really like that, so it's quite good. Um, another tweak would be Hyperion. Hyperion, it's in my opinion, one of the most useful tweaks, basically when you had Samsung, when you get notification and you miss the notification, you get the little uh, LED light on the top, which uh, keep flashing. So when you're away from the phone, you can see from the distance, you've got the notification pending because the LED is flashing. With iPhones, Apple never come up with any type of LED or anything letting you know that there is notification pending. So Hyperion, uh, a tweak, jbray tweak, uh, it kind of give you notification on the lock screen so from the distance you can see that there is something pending so uh, I get the message on messenger now, message come up, say I, I didn't see it and you will see what happened when the screen go blank okay so I got the notification from my wife, let's wait for the screen to go black Okay, and as you can see, every now and then I got the pulsing frame not notifying me that there is notification pending. It keep blinking, so from the distance now, if I look away, my phone is away and I look at it, I know there is notification pending. And when I open the notification, the flashing will be gone. So that's quite a useful tweak as well. Okay, so uh, another one will be no more slow apps. If you have the... Uh, iPhone X and if you have uh, Jay broken your iPhone X and you go to CDI you can see that annoying black bars on the top and on, uh, and on the bottom so by installing the no more small apps tweaks you, as you can see if I open my CDI it's on the full screen which looks much more, com much more convenient and uh, it's just basically better you know the iPhone X screen is so amazing so having it you know with the back black bars being cut on the top and on the bottom it doesn't look very nice so no more small apps it's quite good uh, another tweak I would like to recommend it's uh, nude keys and nude keys it's basically as you seen on my keyboard previously uh, you can choose the color, you can choose the top, you can choose the bottom, there is a uh, whole bunch of settings for it, you can add the blur into the actual colors, and you can customize your keyboard, it, it looks different, it, it looks really good, in my opinion. Um, another tweak would be tapping keys, and the tapping, tapping keys is basically not something, not something I can show you because you won't feel it, but Taptic Keys, it's basically amazing app that gives you haptic feedback every time you press the keyboard. And uh, for people that never use the keyboard on a phone with haptic feedback, uh, it probably won't tell much. But uh, when I use the Android devices, what I love about the keyboards, you can you have the option to enable haptic feedback when you type it, and it's it feels more comfortable for your fingers to type it when you feel the actual click. It gives you that sort of feeling that you're typing on the real keyboard, if I can call it like that. Basically, it just makes the lives a lot easier. And uh, you can get that up as well. Um, as I said, you go to settings. I've got the taptic keys. You can see you've got the uh, settings. You can choose the strength of the... Um, of the vibration, the light is the best one for me, but there is uh, many more, uh, few more options for you to choose. So it's it's really handy tweak. Um, another tweak will be YouTube tools, and it's quite a good one because basically, if you go to settings, as you can see, uh, the tweak is free, and if you go to YouTube tools, you got a bunch of options that you can customize your. YouTube app to work perfectly. First, the best option most of the people were waiting for will be play in the background. Amazing option because you can just quit the YouTube, which you weren't able to do it before. You can quit the YouTube and you can still listen to your favorite songs, list or playlist or whatever. 
and uh, it doesn't cost a penny you can just quit and you know lock your phone and you can listen to music on your headphones or in your car play or whatever uh, no video ads it disables all the ads in youtube which is quite good no age restrictions uh, select quality over 3g and 4g which is quite handy as well as the, the the bunch of times i were watching some videos while being away from home and uh, we're unable to choose the quality it's uh, just annoying and you can change that and there's uh, another bunch of options for you to choose but it's really handy tweak it's called youtube tools and what i do uh, uh, I, I just recommend that to use it uh, another tweak i really would like to recommend would be the uh, emoji bar as you can see on the bottom of my keyboard, I'm surprised Apple never done it, but it's amazing. It shows you all your recent emoji you've used. So you can just swipe in between them. It's uh, quite convenient as well, because if you use emoji very often, it's, uh, it's quite handy and uh, useful. So uh, emoji bar for keyboard and uh, the last week i would like to share with you as you can see all my icons are themed i, I got the theme on them and uh, i think it's one of the most amazing platforms since the uh, winter board been out of game and it's called anemon and it's a very simple theming platform basically when you go into it you download it, every theme you download now instead of going the winter board like in the past on the older jbricks it go to anyone and as you can see i've got all sorts of different uh, different themes and this is the theme I, i've choose before so let me disable that and uh, just to show you i go and enable ace and ios 11 you go to preview so that's how it look. It will looks like I go apply, and it does it straight away. Just get you out to the uh, to the um, Springboard main page. As you can see, my icons are different. So if I want to go back to my old theme, just go into the app, disable that. I go to to, to my previous uh, favorite one. Apply, quit straight away. Done. It's e even more easier because with the winter bot in the past you had to respring the spring bot each time and this one is just more helpful. Uh, that's all my favorite tweaks. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the video and uh, I'm sure there'll be many more videos to come if I get a uh, few more nice jailbreak tweaks. For all those tweaks I had, these different repos you had to add, I, I think three or four repos. So what I do, I add all the repos in the description of the video. So you can add them first and then each tweak you liked, you can just simply download it and uh, and enjoy it as I do. So uh, hope it was helpful for you. If you liked the video, just uh, hit subscribe button and uh, see you next time.